Hi. In a previous video, I showed you how to connect your Thunkable app to a Firebase database. And that allowed you to kind of be able to manage the database and, and maybe edit it, debug your, your apps. It's really nice. And it's all up in the cloud. Um, you don't have to worry about a lot of the stuff you'd have to worry about if you kind of create your own server or something. Um, okay. So now what we're going to do is look at email and password authentication. So using the same kind of Firebase system, this, you know, it's outside of Thunkable, right? It's its, its own thing. We're going to make it so not only is our database there, but they handle the, you know, the passwords for us. So people can log into our app. Right now, anybody that gets the app can just start posting things and we don't even know who they are. All right, so you're going to add Dave's login template. Okay, this is one I created and it, it's actually a riff off one from the Thunkable site, all right? Um, all login pages, and, and this includes registration. Also, you can't find your password, all that kind of stuff. They're pretty much the same behavior. Okay, so I'm not, it, and, and it's a little bit complicated. So I'm not going to show you how to code that. And in fact, I'm, you know, even in my own apps, I'll just kind of grab an old one. I can change how it looks and stuff, but the behavior is going to be the same. And so I'm going to, what I'm going to show you is for you to do the same. You're going to, essentially copy my login page, um, both how it looks and the behavior, and then you, you can fairly easily add it to your app. And then we just gotta do a little bit of stuff at Firebase um, to, to, make, to hook it in and to set up the authentication. But Firebase really takes care of a lot of it. Okay, so the steps are gonna be, and you, you might wanna jot down this link, you're gonna basically click on this link, you're gonna open up a Thunkable app, which is this simple login app of mine. It won't work right away, um, at least because you're not connected to a database. So don't try to do that. Um, but what you want to do is you're going to save the screen that's within that app. And there's a way to save it to, you, you can kind of keep a list of saved screens. And this is how you can share code between your apps. All right. Um, and then finally, you're going to open the app we've been working on, the, the uh, COVID-19 app. And you'll just add that screen back into to that app. Okay, so you're going to get it from an app that I share with you, and then you're going to put it in your own app, and then finally we'll go over at Firebase and actually connect it connect it up or set the authentication up. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so right now I'm I'm looking at the COVID our our COVID nineteen uh, supplies app, right? Um, but what I want to do is is open up a new app and what i'm going to do is just do it how you'll do it i'm going to grab this link so um if i come back over here i just need to grab bit.ly dot thunk login and let me escape and grab it here we go so i'm just going to grab that link from my presentation okay and then i'm actually going to open it up right in the same window and that'll just kind of replace the app that I was looking at with, you know, Dave's login app. This has an image behind it, also um, from Thunkable. Um, but you can, of course, change the image and to make this look pretty much however you want. It's also got a bunch of code, which is essentially, you know, how to deal with the user typing in their email and their password um, and going between registering or logging in. The other thing that's login does for you is it saves the user's data in a stored variable. So every time you come back to the app, you won't have to re-log in. It'll at least put your email and password in for you. Okay, so here's the part we're gonna, you know, one th what we wanna do is we wanna share our app, or sorry, sorry we, wanna, we wanna put that screen, this screen called Dave's login screen, you can put it into your own accounts kind of setup. So I'm just gonna go, to my app, um, oh, sorry, I wanna to go to the screen, Dave's login screen, and there's this icon right here which says save screen to my screens. So you've got, you don't know it maybe, but you've got a list of my screens. And so you're gonna click on this, you're gonna give it a name, and then that screen will show up in, in your screens. I've already got it, okay, so I'm not gonna redo it again. And um, so that's step one. So you're going to open this app I shared with you. You're going to get the screen and put it in your My Screens. Okay, then you're going to go back and find your project you're working on. 
And for me, uh, it's Coal Valley app down here. Okay. And with this app, I am now going to grab the screen from here. So notice when I say select a screen. So all I did was say, I want to add a new screen. I can either get a blank one and create one, or I can copy from my screens. If I do this, it's going to show me a list. For you, you should have um, just the one thing that we just saved, unless you've already been doing Thunkable and, and whatnot. But I'm going to choose Dave's login screen and copy it. And you'll notice there it is. Now I've got the screen um, from, you know, from the other app, basically. All right, so I've got Dave's login screen. I want it to come up first, right? Because we want the user to have to log in before they can use anything. So I'm going to pull up Dave's login screen. I'm going to move it as the first screen. Okay, and whatever this first screen is, is the one that appears when your app launches. Okay, and this screen, you'll notice it's got all the blocks I showed you briefly um, before from, from, you know, Dave's screen or whatnot. Okay, so I think we're doing pretty good. We've got this screen. And what we want to happen is screen one to appear when they get past this screen. All right, so I'm going to bring up those blocks again. And there's just one thing you need to change, which is um, when they log in, and you'll have to find the, the boxes, the blocks here, they're going to want to navigate to screen one. And you just got to make sure this is your screen um, in, in your app, OK? It, it might be fine from, from the get-go, but just you want to make sure when they sign in that they go to your, your screen. OK, so uh, that's pretty much it. it. You know, you could modify this code, and you can look at it. It's fairly complicated. Um, but like if you want to do things differently, like this one, what it does is you, it comes directly to the sign-in page. And only if you want to, you can click, like not if you want to, but if you've never registered, you can click on that bottom link and it'll bring up a kind of a register window. And then you can kind of go back and forth between those two windows. All right, so that's, that's kind of how, how, how it works. Right now, this is not gonna work because my Firebase database has not set up the authentication. All right, so I'm gonna do that right, right now. And I'm gonna open up Firebase. And I'm going to go to my console. If you've already done my previous video and done the app, you'll, you'll already have this. I'm going to go to my Coal, Coal Valley sign-in, or sorry, I'm going to go to my Coal Valley app, okay? And this is the one, this was one I was testing with, but this is the, the one we've been working on in this tutorial. And I'm going to bring up this Coal Valley app, okay? And, um, so this app, I don't know if you remember, we have a database already with it, and it's got a real-time database, which we can view, um, and it's got a little bit of data, right? Not much, because I think we deleted some in, in one of the previous apps. Um, but anyway, what we need to do with this project is the authentication, and what I'm going to do is go to sign-in method. So I clicked on authentication and sign-in method, and what I want to do is change the email password. I want to enable it. And I'm just going to enable that. You can check out the other options, but I'm just going to save that. And now, basically, to, you know, this app, will, or, or my um, Thunkable app now is going to have sign in, you know, with what I just did. And then, of course, the code that you copied, which knows how to actually send the email to Firebase and the password and, and to authenticate it. So that's all you have to do. And you can use the same scheme for, for every app. Uh, let me just show you how it works. I'm gonna come over here and sign in. And, oops, sorry, I, get, I don't have a capital. So I'm just gonna sign in with my email.
Okay, now I'm going to type in my password and I, I'm going to just not let you watch that. So type it in my password right now. And now I'm going to hit sign in and bring up the screen. Oh, sorry, I don't think I hit it. And saying there's no user corresponding that. Oh, sorry, of course. Okay, so I just set up the authentication. There's no users in the database, right? So I can't sign in. I'm glad I ran into that bug. You may run into it too. So I need to choose the bottom link, this don't have an account register. Okay, now I kind of got to do the same thing. And here I'm going to give it a, it's got to be a Gmail account. So I'm going to give it my Gmail account. And then I got to give it a password. Okay, once again, let me hide this from you. And I'll type in my password. And then I'm going to touch create account. I won't do it yet. I'll just bring up the screen first. Um, and I'll touch create account. And what it says, I don't know if you can read this here. It says, oh, sorry, I hit the button. It says, um, what it said was an email was sent to your account. And if I go to my email, and it says verify your email for project. So it all takes care of all this email stuff. Um, you'll notice there's a weird project name down here. Um, back over in Firebase, you can change what, what shows up in, in this address. But anyway, I'm the user right now. I'm just going to say, yeah, I want to authenticate. And that does that. So cool. And now that I'm, uh, you know, now I'm back in the app, the, you know, as a user, I just create my account. And now when I hit sign in, it's going to take me to the, the main screen. And the only way to get this main screen was to get through that login process for, for the user. Okay, so essentially what I showed you is a way to, to copy a template for, for logging in. Um, you know, once you've copied that, you need to stick it in my screens uh, and then open your app you want to put it into and add that screen. Uh, Dave's login screen is what it's called right now. Add that to your app. Okay, then the final step is just really a pretty simple change over at Firebase to set up the authentication the way you want it. And we just did it with one click, basically, enabling the email and password. Um, this is pretty big stuff, right? Now you have an app where the user has to log in. All that's taken care of in terms of getting them to register or log in. And now, you know, we also know what their email is. We, we don't know their password because, um, what, what, sorry, we're, we're storing their email and their password in their database on their phone. And so, it, so it's there or on their iPad. Okay. And what we'll do in the next video is I'll show you how we can use that um, email to add kind of an identifier to every post. So right now, we, you have no idea who's posting each um, entry. Okay. So we'll change it so there's user information on every post.